Hello everybody, this is Andy. They've never set foot in a forge before, and today they're gonna try and forge a hairpin, or ice pin. Doesn't matter what you use it for. As we can see, Andy was a bit apprehensive at first. Oh, man. <laughs> I like your confidence. Oh man, that's powerful. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. And I may have underestimated how hard drawing down material was for beginners. When I started, that's pretty much all I did because I never had the proper size material. For those who don't know, when you're drawing down material, you twist 90 degrees in between each hit to make your material longer and skinnier. However, what Andy was doing was twisting his hands 90 degrees each time, and not going based off of the visual feedback of the steel. This is a problem because he was holding round bar, so the bar was rotating in the tongs making his 90 degrees not actually 90 degrees, and causing a lot of trapezoidal problems. But the problem is because you're gripping a circle, this can rotate within your grip. So it like it's, it's rotating and then we, what you th register as 90 in your brain is like that on the handle. I'm going to use this clay to demonstrate a very common mistake that beginners make. So when you're drawing something down, you, you know, hit it on one side, rotate 90 degrees, hit it on the other side, rotate 90 degrees, other side, 90 degrees, and you rotate in between those. And as you can see, it will get thinner, but also longer. However, what many beginners do is instead of going perfectly 90 degrees, they either over or under rotate. So then when the hammer comes down, you end up with a trapezoid cross section. Now the way you correct this is you turn it up so that the longest part of your trapezoid is facing upward and then you hit it to take the corners off and from there you can hit on your previous two edges and make your material a square again. However, finding the proper point of that trapezoid is very difficult and explaining this without a visual metaphor is also very difficult. Also, tip for any aspiring blacksmiths. Uh, if you don't really understand how material moves, get yourself some clay, a hammer, and like just a regular desk and just play around with it, right? Because this will even teach you things like, for example, when my material looks like this, I can definitely upset it, which is make it shorter and fatter, right? However, if my material was, say, super long and skinny, when I try to upset it, it just bends under its own weight. This can also show you things like how uh, the ends of hammers work. Clay is a very useful tool to figure out how material moves and feels and all the problems you can run into. Anyways, back to your regularly scheduled programming. We fought hard to get a shoulder forged in and use the hot cut to snip off any excess material. And don't worry, I subjected him to swinging a hand hammer a bit. Can't let anybody come here without making them realize that hammering like this is not as easy as it looks. Bring it up farther. Like bring it up above your shoulder. Oh. Yeah. You know, almost line these two fingers up and then have these ones pointing down. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I guess you can try making a square. You're gonna have to help me though because I've been, I feel like I've been doing the same thing over and over. It's not working. What do you mean? It's moving every time. Blacksmithing is all about patience and anger. After I helped Andy get everything nice and square, we moved on to twisting, which was legitimately the easiest part of this entire project. And then we spent definitely not 40 minutes yes. putting the loop in the end of the yeah. ice pick. A little bit more off the angle, like with your hammer. Yes. Uh, we bent it the wrong way. No ice. No, careful, careful, careful. No, no, no. How do you grab it? Jeez. That's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. No, no. It's close. It's closed. It's closed. <laughs> then it was just a matter of wire wheeling, putting finish on, and bada bing bada bang, you've got a pretty nice looking stabbing weapon. So this is the finished product. I, I like honestly, this is just, this is amazing. Uh, for context, this <laughs> is the first thing I ever forged. Yeah, Andy, you should be, you should be incredibly proud of yourself. This is sweet. We did it! <laughs>